Good morning, plumbers. If you don't know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All while training my two sons, the plumbing trade. Hit that subscribe button. Follow this journey as I train my two sons to trade. Gonna be a long journey, but well worth it. Because we all know, plumbing ain't going nowhere. And for today's plumbing adventure, we're gonna set a couple 12 flanges. Stay tuned, and we'll see you at the job. As you all recall, I got roasted because I didn't secure the old flange on a temporary toilet because I wanted them to raise the floor and level it out. So we took the toilet out and now we're going to put the new flange in permanently and secure it to the floor. But they still didn't do what I wanted them to do. They used, they used plywood or some kind of finished laminate flooring. I, I thought this was going to be a tile floor. The floor is still out. A, a good 3 8 And that was the reason I didn't secure the flange to the concrete because I knew it was going to be high. So now we're going to just go with the floor. Got to do what we got to do. And this time, this time we're going to secure the flange. And this goes out to my man Lee, and Lee, you were kind of right. I haven't heard from you in a while, but this is double work. I'm trying to go to the extra yard to raise the floor. As you see, this joker's still out a bit. I was hoping to get this floor up to. Anyway, that's why I did it. Now we're just going to secure it through the floor into the concrete, set the toilet, and be done with this job once and for all. This is going to be a little beach bathroom off the beach. Take your shower. We've got 12 and a half on center, 12 and a half. So, we're going to mark the floor. Afternoon. I was just saying I've set this flange for Lee. I haven't heard from Lee. I hope Lee's okay. Don't spill the glue. Ah yes. Yeah, good. I use tap cons. Gotta blow out the uh, the dust. Of course, it makes a mess. Did you see me do this yet, Chuck? Through. 
CB2, he's feeling bright today, I can tell. <laughs> How's he look? Tired? Huh? Here we go. Oh. See? See why we... Oh. You got to be kidding me. change them once but just we gotta get in the habit of just coming in and setting them up you know right now we're the cross crossroads I'm hoping this head will not be high on the toilet. I'm gonna take a chance on setting this toilet. A little concerned with the head here. CB! CB, I hear you! <laughs> Alrighty. Tighten it down. Bang. head doesn't come into play. Not the way I want to do it, the way I ended up doing it. <laughs> Especially when you're just dry fitting it, because you use the wrong bolts. Give it a drive, Ryan. It's gonna work, boys and girls. I just got lucky. Use the right drill bit on your tap ponds. Again, we're going to set the flange, mark the 12 and a half. Sounds good, man. Mark the 11. This is 11. Oh, it's off the trim. All right, so I'm going to get 11 off the trim. Pencil mark. Thank you. 
to drill with the right bit. Chris, plumbing tip of the day. Make sure you use the right bit. are set ready for toilets we did get it done a little bit of a mess up on my part with the tabcon drill bits 